On March 25, 1911, a massive fire destroyed the 10-story Triangle Shirtwaist Factory, located in New York City. The fire broke out suddenly on the 8th floor of the building, and nowhere for workers to go. How did this happen, and why was it such a big deal? The owners, Max Blank and Isaac Harris, were Jewish immigrants who started as workers in the garment industry during the late 19th century. Eventually, they became business owners and were successful in manufacturing women's blouses, which earned them their nickname, the Shirtwaist Kings. The factory, located on the top two floors of the 10th floor building, housed hundreds of immigrant women workers. The fire was supposedly caused by a bucket of rags catching fire and an inoperable hose unable to put it out. This fire caused an, a large amount of deaths because of the improper fire safety protocols in the building. The building had no sprinklers, a flimsy fire escape which collapsed, and only one working elevator that held only 12 people at a time. Worst and most preventable of all, the doors to the ninth floor were locked from the outside for an unknown reason. Some survivors claim that the door was locked to prevent theft, however no one will know for sure. All that is known is that fire safety regulations in high-rise New York City buildings needed to be changed. The industry and city government were not concerned with installing tools and using precaution to prevent fires. There were protests before the 1911 fire, pleading for more safety that were ignored by the owners. Many workers were enraged by the outcome of the Triangle Shirtwaist Company fire and went on strike until conditions improved. The sprinkler system and outward swinging exit doors will be put into place after this horrific incident. Beautiful dream.